Hello everyone, welcome to my video blog on my model railway. I've been doing a few video blogs at the moment on setting up the Arduinos with the panel PO on the GMRI using the CMRI setup. This is uh, probably about my fourth one. The other ones are showing you how to set up the Arduinos, controlling the LED on, on doing some inputs and controlling servos and setting up the turnouts and all that, um, all using one Arduino. Today is going to be a demonstration how to connect up more than one Arduino to the same panel PO using the RS485 modules. So on, I'll just show you a video of the setup that I've got at the moment. Um, this is my Mega, which is going to be one of the ones I'm going to be using. And over here I've got a Uno Wi-Fi that is going to be my other Arduino that I'm going to be connecting up. Both of these are going to have RS485 modules. This one over here and this one further over here. You have to have one of these for every Arduino that you connect up using this system. And on the computer, I'll just bring my camera down to the floor, is the 485, it's a USB to 485 module. It gives me the two cables that are coming out here. And it's only two cables that run daisy chain to each 485 module on your layout for each Arduino that you connect up. Um, wiring wise, um, I've got a positive and a negative here which are going to the 485 modules. This can be supplied from a separate power supply, it doesn't have to come from the Arduino. This is only being done like this for convenience. I've got a RX and TX wires over here which go straight over to your 485 module and there's a pin 2 on the Arduinos to the 485 module. And the 485 module, like I said earlier, has its power supplies and the USB connection is going into the these terminal bars. So make sure you connect them into these terminal bars for the USB A and B. Don't use the pins underneath because they don't work. And that just daisy chains between each 485. Um, I will be adding this because it's not great doing it like this. So my camera's not brilliant, but I will be adding this all to my website um, with the wiring diagrams and all the code that I'm going to be using as well. Um, so for now, let's bring this out of the way. I'll just show you on eBay where I got this from. Bring up the eBay part. Right, so these these are the modules, the 485s, which you have to have one for each Arduino. And you also will need just bring up one of these, USB 2485. This the one that you need from the computer to give you the two RX and TX outputs. These are um, different to the ones I've got, but the one I've got is similar to this one, just that's A and B USB RX and TX outputs. The basic program for this setup. Let's bring up the two programs. Um, this left hand one is the is the Mega, and this one over here is for the Uno Wi Fi board or whatever other one Arduino you're using. Both programs are exactly the same. The only difference between each program is that we're using CMRI address one for the Mega, and on the other one, CMRI address two for the Uno. So if you have more um, Arduino set up. Each Arduino will have to have a different address. So you can have, I don't know how many we can have, I've never tried to max this out, so wouldn't have enough Arduinos to do it. Basic program I've used before on my previous blogs, it's just turning on the LED 13 on, on the actual board, on the board LED, and we're just sending the bit zero from the JMRI, to, and we're going to be sending it to the LED, so um, a bit um, one will turn the LED on and a bit zero will turn the LED off and it's exactly the same like I said for the other Arduino so if you following this you have to upload both of these to your Arduino so don't forget you need to have Panel Pro, Pro turned off I've got mine up, up and running at the moment um, you can't have that up and running while you're trying to upload the programs you just get a, an error so if you upload both of these to your Arduinos and then we're ready to bring up the Panel Pro so I'll bring up my Panel Pro I've already connected and set mine up for the USB, but if you've just started up your panel code, you've probably got an error and uh, a load of red writing on here saying you've got an error with your COM setup. This is purely because you haven't set up the USB connection. So the first thing you'll have to do is go to Edit and Preferences, and on the drop down menu, you should have the USB serial COM on the COM port that you've connected up to your computer. So select that first, and then we need to, need to set up different nodes. We did the setup nodes on previous videos, which didn't really need doing, but I showed you it so that when you get to this point you see what, what we're doing so click on the configure nodes click on add nodes 
and you're going to put one in here for the first one, which will be for your Arduino, your first Arduino, which mine was the Mega, and it was on address one. And then you click Add to add that one in, and you can see I've already got mine set up for address one. And then you click Add Nodes again, and this time you're clicking two, and this one will be for your second Arduino, mine was the Wi-Fi one, um, which is on address two. And then you again click Add for that. And then you've got you should have two addresses now, address one, address two, one for each Arduino. And if you've got more Arduinos, each one will have to have their separate addresses to correspond to the Arduino code address that I've just shown you. Click on that done for this and then save your configuration. And then you'll have to restart your panel pro. And when you restart it up, it should pick up that you're on um, this should all go black with the COM port that you connected the USB up to. So you're all now set up ready for the Arduino to, the panel pro to Arduino control. So after you've done that, click on panels and then click open panels to open, either open up your previous panels or you can just go ahead with the tables if you want to set up a new one. I've already got one set up for JMR Arduino uh, 2 which I've set up earlier for this demonstration. And then you can go over to your tools, tables and then click lights to bring up the lights. Again I've already set mine up. And so you bring up the lights table like we did on previous videos. And we're going to add two light controls, no different to previous, my first video that I did, which was adding the light control for one Arduino. The only difference now when we add it is the first Arduino will be 1001, um, the one at the beginning because we're on address 1, and the one at the end because we we're using bit 0, we'll go 1 ahead, and then give it whatever name you want to give it, and I've given mine L2, L, L1 sorry, there, and the, you can see over here it's 1001. And then your other Arduino, when you click add, you click 2001 and the 2 is because now we're on address 2 and the 1 is for bit bit 1, no, bit, so bit 0. So we can go up to, as previous ones, that would be, if you could go to 47, if you go to the full 48, um, and the other Arduino will be a 1 there for 1048. So um, I hope you understand that. Let's just set up the two different lights. So these are all now set up. I'll just bring my camera up a bit so you can see it. Um, I should have on the L1, which is my Mega, um, when I click it on, it should turn, well it's already on, uh, turned it off. You can see in the video, I can now turn the Mega LED, on board LED on and off. So I've got full control now of all the digital inputs and outputs um, when I set them up on the Mega board. And on the other one, I'll just bring the camera over, this and the Uno, you can see I'm now turning LED on and off on that board as well so I have the full 48 inputs and outputs if I wanted it on that board although this Uno hasn't got 48 outputs so you just use a bigger board. Um, so just demonstrate both of them at the same time, just bring the camera up a bit higher and now turn the Uno on and off and I can turn the Mega on and off. I hope you can see that in the video, um, the light on the Mega has just gone on and there's the Uno on, Uno off and Mega off. So there we have full control of two Arduinos using the JMR Panel Pro and the RS485 outputs. Um, I'll be putting all this on my blog with all the program code, uh, a wiring diagram we've had to set it all up. Um, give it a, give it a try, let me know what you think. It's not tried more than two at the moment and I've only done a couple of inputs and outputs. I haven't tried controlling multiple points. Hopefully using this setup I should be able to control all my layout. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to help me keep doing these channels. I will be setting up doing a video soon of my actual railway and as I build a railway I'll be putting more on on me connecting up all these devices. Thanks for watching.